What up, everybody? This is Robert here, and we're going to be going on a big picket adventure with my family, my mom, my sister, and my little niece, here, Macy. Say hi, Macy. Hi. <laughs> yeah, Pepper, we're just waiting for my other sister to come here. She's bringing her kid, too. And once uh, she's here, we're going straight to a place called Wenger's here in Mondora. It's a big place. It's great. I always love going there. I first find great stuff and hopefully I get lucky again this time. So wish me luck and here we go. See that sign flashing over there? There it is! And there it is! There it is. We made it! We made it! Let's hope that it's not too crowded and we find good parking spots and we can begin this adventure. Okay, we this so Good. Uh, how do you unwrap it? Oh, how you unwrap it? You just go like this, right there, and then you just wrap it back up. Oh, yeah, that's great. Right yeah, cool. Thank you. This one has Jasper on it. This one has Jasper. Now, this is a lava. Yeah, big one. Now, look at the small one for you. Oh, 
Say hi. Mm -hmm. That's cool. What do you think? Good. Hey guys, sorry that uh a little bit that was like the last piece of footage I got from there. It was a cool store, they had a bunch of different things in there, a lot of different toys, so a lot of other things too. It was pretty cool. The rest of it was pretty much not a, nothing else. Not too many things there. But I did get a few, few good pickups and I'm gonna show you guys right now. First things first I think you guys saw this one video I got this little Halloween out uh, here. He's actually a candle and I got him for a dollar. It's only paying on one side but that's okay. And he's pretty cool. I've been looking for something old Halloween for a while and this is my first piece so there we go. Okay next let's let me get it for you quick. Next thing I found is a little classic game. Pick up six and it's pretty cheap, cheap goods. So I picked it up. It's like these little kind of things. It has all the sticks in it. Cool. Cool. Let me buy White Man. 
and over Duncan in about 5 on that. <laughs> My hand, stay. Don't break. Pick up good money for you. Well, I pay a dollar, but it's fine. It was about 10 cents, but the guy said give me a dollar. I don't know why he said that. Either he was trying to rip me off, or this is something I just left behind when he bought it and tried to sell it. So, well, dollars aren't too bad anyway. That makes a nice piece. Okay, next, I'm getting up. Another thing. I ripped up. I actually, in one store, picked up. All this, this is a, uh, first thing was this Yoda bucket and a bunch of other stuff with it. We got all this for $6, it's an old life old time magazine of the last Star Wars. This is probably when the third one came out, like episode 3. and. We talked about we were talking about like the film back then and how it might have been the last Star Wars, but everyone knows that's not, not true. Play more where that came from. Pretty cool we see Harger scary better. QA George Lucas reveal. And plus the Star Wars family tree. Yeah, that's goodbye. I took all this for six dollars. Got yeah, these guys here, a bunch of uh, dog video stuff. In the back was it just realized. It's <laughs> a little candy dispenser. It's not only a special sharpener, but after looking at it, it's a candy dispenser. Because the candy goes in the head. Okay. Three candy dispensers. I also got these two guys. Move this out of the way a little bit. Pez. Like, wait up, Pez, we your Pez, we your Pez, we your Pez. Mm. Yeah, it would be pretty cool. I was gonna, just gonna get the one, but and she said it'd give me like six dollars for the other one, and plus all the other Star Wars stuff she had left. And she was just trying to get rid of all, so I just took it all and did pretty good. Ooh. Steak, don't follow me. Don't fall. Don't. 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 Stop. You weren't worth them, I would kill you. So, here we got all that. Six dollars with the yoga, yoga bucket. And yeah, no, pretty cool. Okay, then, as you guys saw, I went well. This stuff got like on the outer side. It. I went back inside and I found one really cool thing. That's one of my favorite pieces of the day. It's Transformers. Yes, original 1986 Transformers lunchbox. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's in pretty good condition, just minor rust and marks, but you know, it's always pretty good condition. See all the Transformers on it. It's cool to have. I have this guy. I don't have hot rod, look for hot rod, so if anyone can hook me up a good deal, let me know. And there it is. What is Maximus and everybody and all the glory? On the other side, just on the side so you see one Dinobots, I think that's sludge called. Let's go on top here. Let's see what I'm doing with this. It's kind of stuck. And on top here you just can see does he kick back and actually have that one? So it looks pretty cool. I like the artwork. Has me on there? What? Has me on there? Let's get back. Who can I see? Oh, not yet. Oh, uh, kick back, so that's annoying. <laughs> Maybe here's Think Slag, I think it's called. And what's on the bottom? Mm -hmm. Insect Con Bombshell. And now look on the other side. Artwork here is Trypticon, Decepticons, 
Here's see what's that? Which it does work core. It's one to put credit cards. Here's Octane. It's called Octane. It was Transformers. Got Transformers. All of them meets. Oh yeah. See a couple more of the credit cards. And I don't know who that is up there. They like have out of the picture. That's okay. And there's Triple Car and all glowy. Yeah, that is it. That was a good buy. I got I had not to paid up for it, I got paid twenty dollars for it. Tried to negotiate with the guy a little bit, but he won't have it was a set price and well I couldn't leave it there. I never seen a Transformers Lunch Box and it's gonna make me increase my collection, even though it's a Christmas gift. Well, the last second, my mom um, sat for me to Christmas gift, so I have to give this back to her after this. So, I can't have it back to Christmas. So, thank you. That's okay. Anyway, wait. This piece is worth it. Okay, then. Let's get a couple more things. Right back. As you wait, I'll check one thing before we're here. Actually, the last time we were outside, like the last part I did around the main area, I found one more vendor and he had these on him. Nice little pocket knives here, survival knife. Let's just get this up here again. Oh. Yep, it's a little survivor knife. And yeah, this quite has a little holder. The seatbelt cutter. Or if you have an accident or a window breaker, cut a big window, cut the seatbelts. Also there's the main knife. Which is boom. <laughs> yeah, that's our first knife. Yeah, this could do damage. I can just get by anybody with this one. Yeah, no mess with me. It's pretty cool. There's all that. This side here is like a saw. So, I think a tree, like if you're in a situation where if you're in Hunger, Hunger Games, like that, you, need, you see a wasp nest, you can just cut it down like that, just like in a movie. <laughs> yeah, just like a movie. So, this is pretty cool. Yeah. Put knife in, just a lever you have to push in to put it in. And uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay. Now the next things I got, I actually didn't get it at the well the antique side, there's actually two sides, two vendors, there's an antique side and a flea market side. They had shown the antique side, that's where I got a lot of this stuff from, but on the other side I want to actually I didn't didn't really go through it. I actually just went in and picked something up. I ordered online, and I'll show you guys what it is real quick. It's actually these 1990s wacky ads. Yeah, pretty cool. I got them in the online auction. You guys seen the Facebook auctions? I do a lot of those. I go on them and find good deals, like these guys. They're from the 90s, not the originals, but they're pretty cool. I got them for mom because when she was a kid she was really into these and she has like a couple on old record player that she still has and yeah it's been my families. So I got this up. A really good deal. Here's some of them. There's bamboo. <laughs> old old days with nasty turkeys. <laughs> New kids on the block. <laughs> and Prez and a bunch of others. So that was and then I picked up and while I was there, this guy actually has a big uh, horse store. He has a bunch of old and vintage horse stores. That's where I got from. He has auctions online. His name is uh, really I think. I think I'm bad with names, but he has a store there at Van Gogh's on the key market side, close to the that store. Because I don't really remember what specific number of aisles we on, but I know it was around there. So I'm looking for to so go by pet store, and you just. Past a little bit, he's right there. There's a great store, a bunch of different stuff there. I saw a bunch of cool things, but I didn't really have time to cook with you because my sisters and my mother was with me, and well, they were getting pretty tired. They had the kids with them, the kids were getting tired, they had to take naps, and one well, wasn't feeling that great. So we did our stuff, and we had to leave after that, and that was. It's pretty good, still a good day. And the good kids had fun, we all had fun, and 
It was awesome. And after while I was in that store, I couldn't help myself. I got one more thing. Do do. A little go bat. Uh, because I forget his name is, but he's pretty cool from the original, original line from Gobats. I think it was on. I don't think they ever made them, but it's pretty cool. It's minor wear. Very loose legs. But always oh, pretty cool. I got him for eight bucks. Made a deal with the guy. And yeah, it's pretty cool. It's satisfied. And so that was everything I got there. There we go. But yeah, it was really cool. I had a great time with my family and my nieces and nephews. And yeah, if you guys are in the area for my next steampunk show, I recommend going because there's a lot of cool stuff to see and you might find, find some really good deals and you'll just have a good time. The kids will love it. You'll love it because there's so much stuff to look at and it's really cool. Like it, I'm gonna go to the next one next year. <laughs> so anyway, thank you guys for watching. That's everything I got there, and yeah, all, all really cool. Really cool. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> and yeah, there. Oh, talk. Swear. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more, remember to subscribe down below. And remember to remember I'm picking TV, and I could be doing a lot more stuff. I'm going to more flea markets, more shows like those, and a bunch of other places. So if you want to see where I'm going, keep subscribe and follow me. I don't know if turn on your notifications in case if you don't want to miss anything. Whenever I subscribe, make a new video. And, and yeah, stick around because plenty more to come. So, so thank you all for watching. I'm Robert saying, thank you for watching Makers TV, and we are. Out.